Climate change affects wine growing in a lot of ways. So grapes are extremely climate sensitive, and this is part of what makes them so special, that you can taste the flavors of a unique place based on where it's grown and how it's grown. And a lot of that signature comes from the climate. So with the changing climate, we're actually changing the flavors of wines. And that happens through a variety of ways. There are basic taste compounds, acids and sugars, that are affected by climate. And basically, in a warmer climate, you have too much sugar, which ferments into too much alcohol, and not enough acid, which makes it less complementary to food. Um, you also have potentially less flavor compounds, and those are flavor and aroma compounds that we're just really starting to understand. There's over a thousand of them that have been identified in wines. Um, People have different sensitivities to them. Sometimes they interact to produce a flavor or a smell. Sometimes there's just one compound. But in general, we know that they're very sensitive to climate. They're often accumulating towards the end of ripening. So changes in climate or warmer climate during that time could limit the flavor compounds in, in wines. So traditionally, wine is grown in these Mediterranean regions around the world, and they have their unique characters and flavors, their unique devotees, people who like a particular wine from a particular place because it speaks to them about that place. It has the terroir, the flavor of that place. And one trend we've seen very clearly is that many wines around the world are becoming higher alcohol. So some of that has been linked to climate change. Some of it is also from preferences from winemakers and stylistic differences. But in places like Australia, it's been linked clearly to climate change. So warmer climates produce higher alcohol wines. Uh, they also produce lower acid wines. The flavors are, are more complex and subtle, but those are things we're starting to see change as well. It's easy to say, oh, we can just shift and we can move to new places. And yes, there are places that might stand to benefit from new climates, but there's a really important cultural aspect to wine and to other crops where it takes generations to figure out how to really grow wine well on your land. And that's something that growers have told me and that they take pride in, that they learn from their forefathers, from their parents and grandparents, where to grow and how to grow wine. So I think this cultural aspect is something that is learning that happens over time and it's not easy to pick up and move between places. And that's a big part of what makes wine so special and makes wine from a certain place taste the way that it does, is how it was grown and by whom and in what way it was grown. And that's knowledge that we're in danger of losing from climate change, that it's very difficult to keep up with the pace of climate change. Wine is a way to illustrate that we really depend on nature for everything we need to live, but also a lot of the things that make life worth living. And that's something that we're threatening now with the rate of climate change that we're producing as, as people and the lifestyles that we're leading. So we're at a critical point now to make better choices, and I'm really hopeful that we do that. I think we'll have a much safer, healthier, and more delicious planet if we can make some better choices.